is Amanda from The Fundamental Home, and this is week six. This is our final week of our Worthy Wednesday series on overcoming anxiety and depression. And uh, I am very pleased with how these six weeks have gone. Um, I, I want to say, as I've said in all the videos, I am just a mom. I am not a professional. I'm just sharing my experience with you of dealing with anxiety and depression in hopes that it will help you in some small way. But I encourage you, if you're really struggling, definitely seek the help of a medical professional. Um, and don't feel ashamed about it. I, I say it in every video. No need to feel ashamed about that. We all have times in our lives that we struggle and if you need to seek someone out, you do it. Because you need to take care of you. That's what Worthy Wednesday is about. So you're worthy of your own best efforts. And you are. You are. So take care of it. So this week, um, we're going to talk about the mind game, right? We're going to talk about um, setting your mind on good things. Because sometimes negative thinking is rooted in habit. It really is. Um, I know that some people are more inclined to be positive and some people are more inclined to be a bit negative. And I know that because in my household, that is me and my husband, we're a night and day. I am the positive and he is the negative. And that I'm not saying that he's a bad person by any means. Don't feel that I'm putting my husband down. I am just stating the facts <laughs> that I am a glass is half full and he is a glass is half empty without a doubt. And guess which one of us is more inclined to anxiety and depression? That would be my husband. So um, I do think that positive thinking has a, a measure of helpfulness to someone who's struggling. Um, and I've seen it in his own life. It's windy, so excuse me before I have my hair from my face. Um, I know that Rick, certainly when he came to know the Lord, there is a Bible verse in Philippians. Let me get it. All right, it's Philippians 4, 8. And it says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Now, I will say this. When I struggle with anxiety and depression, when I did, particularly after Ricky was sick, I've mentioned in the other videos how, for me, it came about when Ricky suffered with a foodborne illness, and um, it just was hard on me to the point that I had to struggle with anxiety and depression. And um, for me, I couldn't, I, told, I talked in the other videos, I couldn't watch certain commercials, I couldn't hear certain stories being told. It was stressful for me. I couldn't watch the news because there just seemed to be so much negativity just radiating out of every news story. I just didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear it. I found myself searching on the internet for pretty much just mind fluff, <laughs> mind marshmallows, <laughs> videos that would just um, bring me peace and comfort and joy and not bring any negativity in my life at all because I just didn't want to deal with it. You know what I mean? Uh, one of my favorite channels, of course, is Justin Rhodes. Love his channel. I cannot tell you how I would watch videos of his family over and over and over again. And that was when I was kind of on my road to recovery. But, I mean, honestly, any time I could find something that was just mind candy, I was all for it. And it was helpful to me. It was helpful to me to not think on the negative things. But, um when you're not in front of the internet, when you're just sitting by yourself or in your bed and you have those thoughts running through your head, you have to purpose to think on good things. And one exercise that I know a lot of people do is to uh, be thankful. You know, they start naming off things that they're thankful for. You know, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for this bed. I'm thankful for my fluffy covers. And I tell you, I have done that. I have honestly done that. And when I started thinking about just my bed, okay, I have a king size bed. And the reason why I have my king size bed is because um, my mom's friend in Maryland, she bought a king size bed, brand new. And she's, she's a very well to do person, not like super rich or anything, but she was, she's a single woman making a decent salary. She's, she bought a king size bed and then she didn't like it. So she wanted to get rid of it and she gave it to me and Rick. She only had it for maybe a month or two. And at the time we were moving to North Carolina so we just took it with us on our move and came to North Carolina with king size bed, right? So it is a beautiful 
king size bed. We could never have afforded that bed. Never, never have afforded that bed in real life. Well, then when we came to North Carolina, another friend of mine um, in my homeschool group, one day put it on our homeschool group email. was like, hey, I have this um, king size feather bed. If anybody wants it, it's like a feather bed topper. If anybody wants it, they can have it. And I was like, me? So I have this really super comfortable king size bed. And on top of it, I have this awesome thick king size feather bed topper, right? So then we have all of these fluffy blankets. And I think at the time that I was at night thinking through all of this, I had just washed my blankets and had hung them outside on the line and they smelled so good. So just laying there in this bed and I started really thinking about all the things that had bought just the bed to me and how great it was that it all came to us for free. Um, it, well, the bedding was yard sale stuff, but it was inexpensive. The bed was free, how it had been such a nice day and had the, the awesome smell. And even though I'd gone to bed with a lot of anxiety and depression, just reflecting on all those positive things completely, completely changed my mind and I was able to sleep. You know, it, it, there's something to that. There's something about actually sitting back and thinking of all of the good things rather than focusing on the negative. And, and you have to purpose to do that. You have to make a plan to do that. So all of these things in this verse, the things that are true, I mean, one of the things that we struggle with when we start telling ourselves, when we start filling our mind with all the anxious and depressive thoughts, is we start telling ourselves things that aren't true or things that we don't even really know. A lot of times it's the what ifs. A lot of times it's either thinking to the future the things that are coming that we don't even know and can't even change or things in the past that you can't change for sure. They're done. And we start telling ourselves that things are worse than they were or going to be worse than we even know. You know, we're thinking these worst case scenarios and we're, we're filling our mind with things that aren't even true, that aren't even true. And you really have to stop and reflect and say, you know what? None of that's true. I don't know what the future is going to hold. I know that right now this is my circumstance and I can actually deal with this in this moment and not get ahead of myself. So the idea of things that are true, don't, don't think about things that you don't even know about or things you can't change. Just focus on the moment, right? <sighs> Whatsoever things are honest, again, kind of the same thought, you know, things that are, that are honest in this moment, this right here is is the moment that we're in and i don't need to think about everything else that's happening in my life i think a lot, and i noted this about my husband a lot of times he's he's thinking about everything outside of the current moment and so he never gets to enjoy the current moment because he's he's everywhere else in his mind you gotta think about right now this authentic time right here with the people that you're with and what you're experiencing and chances are in this moment everything is okay not always, but most of the time, it's all right. You can get through it. It's all right. Everything's are just, I don't understand. And maybe it's just me that a lot of people like to watch things that are not pleasant. Um, I, my, my boys like to watch these, like, and I guess it's a guy thing, you know, like these warrior things, these, uh, anime things or battle things. They do these video games and sometimes it has an unhappy ending and it ends in a way that's unfair. And I just don't understand how people find satisfaction in that. And, or, or people watch these things on the internet and they're just bad stories. And I'm like, you know, I realize that it's important to recognize the uh, injustice in the world. I realize it's important to understand that, to know it and to fight against it. But if you are struggling with anxiety and depression, that is not your job at the moment. Okay. If there is some kind of, um, injustice in the world and you are physically going out there and fighting it, that is one thing. Okay. Typing negative comments on the internet is not fighting injustice. Okay going out and marching fights injustice going and talking to your legislator fights injustice 
not sitting there stressing about it. Okay. So if you are struggling with anxiety and depression, sitting there and thinking about it is not helping anything. Riling yourself up doesn't help anything. You don't need to go there. Okay. Think about things that are just. Think about things that are good. Stop watching the news. Stop watching the news. Stop it. Only good news. Only good news. Until you get over that hump. And when you're at the place that you can deal with it, then you can be like the social fighter. Make it happen. But now's not the moment. Now's not the time. Okay? Whatsoever things are pure. I think it's great to fill your mind with things that are, are truly good and pure. I mean, who doesn't like to watch a chubby baby laugh? Right? The little baby laugh. It's so cute, right? And that is, like, when I think of something pure, that's what I think of. <laughs> a little chubby baby laugh. I mean, it makes everyone happy. Think on something like that, you know? I love watching little baby goats, little bounce through a field. There's nothing cuter than that. I'm always surprised that people like to watch, like, kittens on the internet. Like, like there's this big thing about watching kittens and cats on the internet. And I love cats. I have cats around me all the time. There's one right there, asleep. I don't know if you can see her. There's baby. Fill your mind with that. Okay, I'm not saying you gotta fill your mind with that all the time. I'm not saying you gotta dumb yourself down, so to speak. But if you're struggling with anxiety and depression, put good things in your head. Okay, things that are pleasant, things that are pure, things that are innocent. Things that are lovely, things that you love. You know, your family, your friends. Whatever it is that brings you great joy, things that are lovely, those things will help you get over the anxiety and depression. Things that are of good report, again, not the news, not bad reports, good reports, good things. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on those things. Good things. Think on the good things. Okay, and it's an exercise. It's an exercise that you have to do on a daily basis, sometimes hourly, sometimes minute by minute. You have to actually control your thoughts to get to the point that you stop all of the negativity that's happening in your head because whatever negativity is going on, on the inside is going to come out. Okay? It's going to come out of your mouth and it's going to come out of your life and it's going to come out of your heart in, with anxiety and depression. Okay, so you have to, to discipline yourself constantly to think on good things, okay? Think about good things, talk about good things, do good things. Setting your mind on good things is challenging. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's easy, but it's something that you need to do if you are going to step away from the anxiety and depression. You, you've got to get your mind on things that are gonna support joy and love in your life. So anyway, this is it. I mean, six weeks, and we just touched on a few simple things that you can do to help yourself with anxiety and depression. Again, are they the solution, the complete solution? No, there's not one complete solution. But I hope that if you try your hand at all of these, that they will give you some help in dealing with anxiety and depression in your life. Uh, I know that all of them have helped me in mine as I've dealt with it. Um, if you have had uh, any of these things help you, please comment down below and let me know um, because I'm really interested in knowing how this series has helped and been a blessing to you. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, it's down here below. And um, let me know if it's something that you would like me to talk about in the future for Worthy Wednesday. When I step away from Worthy Wednesday, it's usually because I have nothing that anyone's asked me about or to talk about. If there's something that you would like me to address for Worthy Wednesday, let me know also, and I will make sure I hit on it. So I have made this into a playlist, so you can check out the playlist uh, if you haven't. I'll link it up here if you haven't uh, caught all of them. Make sure you catch all of them. Particularly, I, it's important that you start from the beginning because they all kind of build on one another, right? And I, I talk with my hands, so. Um, but anyway, I think if you put it all together, you'll find something that helps you as you deal with it. Of course, as I said at the beginning, if you need to seek professional help, do it. And don't feel ashamed about it. Just go take care of yourself. You are worthy of your best efforts in every way, so.
Okay, that is it. Again, thank you so much for listening to the series. I hope it was helpful to you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye!